What's up everyone? Today we're going to be doing a deck review. It's a deck that I have really been looking forward to. But before we get started, I do want to remind everyone that we put out new deck reviews all the time. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below so you can follow along. Now, let's get to the cards. Today we're going to be reviewing the Cosmovisions Oracle deck by James R. Eads. This is a really fun, cool Oracle deck. It is a sister deck, companion deck, to the Prisma Visions Tarot, which is by the same author, of course. Now, because of that, it is a full deck, meaning that there is a mirror card for every tarot card in this Oracle deck. So it was going to have 78 cards. I believe, believe as of right now in the Kickstarter, it's 79 cards because a stretch goal has been met and it looks like we're going to have a full extra card, which is really cool. The original Prisma Visions Tarot also did get a bonus card. So looking forward to that. Can't wait to see what that's going to be. Um, the box itself, as you see, it's a nice clamshell box. Um, it's great. It's really strong and sturdy. Opens up inside. You have your guidebook full guidebook really great one of the cool things about the guidebook is there are spreads in here that are going to give you ways to do a combo spread i guess to say ways to use the prisma visions tarot deck along with the cosma visions oracle deck so i'm looking forward to getting into that now outside of that let's get to the cards here we have our cards you see they have this nice blue Labradorite, Labradorite edging, I believe he calls it, which is really neat. Um, the cards themselves, they're nice cardstock. It's like a mat. So this is really neat because they it's described as a hybrid between the Light Visions finish and the Prisma Visions finish. So it's not glossy. It's more of a mat, but I personally really like that. I like this, this kind of finish. And it, the colors on the cards, they still pop really well. So Great choice with that one. Oh, let me show you the back of the card here. As you see, it has this um, same kind of eye on there as the uh, companion deck, except this one's a lot more colorful, which was neat. Let me show you the, um, maybe I can show it to you both at the same time. You can see the difference between the two. There we go. So here's the two backs, if you want to compare those. Very similar yet different. Neat. So outside of that, we have these really nice color scheme. It's like a, a it's a green with these rainbow colors. And I think the idea of the Cosmovisions, it just, the color scheme really matches well with the idea. Um, I really also do like that little eye in the middle. I love how he gave it a little bit of color. I thought that was cool. The, the images are very dreamy and otherworldly, you know, very Eads-ish. Uh, it looks great. So I don't know. I'm just like really excited about it to tell you the truth. A unique thing about this deck, um, just like its companion deck, the Prisma Visions, when you put the suits in order, when you lay them out, it creates a panorama. Now the special thing about the Cosma Visions deck is that it's an endless panorama. So you can just pick up that first card and put it on the end and it just keeps going on and on and on. It's kind of like infinity art, I guess you could say. So cool, right? Um, I haven't found anything I dislike about this deck yet. I just, I've been loving every minute of it. A cool thing, another cool thing about this deck is how, just the way that it goes along with the Prisma Visions. I really think that's such a cool idea, having a companion deck that can be used on its own. You don't, you don't need to use the Prisma Visions deck with it, but it's nice that you have that option and you can just kind of make a, you know, make some new spreads, get some more insight into what you're asking. So let me go ahead and show you these Cosmovision Oracle cards and you can see what I've been talking about.
Welcome back. And now I'm going to be showing you my three favorite cards out of the deck, which were the Veil, the Two of Lotuses, and the Wanderer. So let's start with the Veil here. Get you a good look at that card. There we go. Isn't that great? Okay, so this card is a mirror of the star, and it stands for hope and reassurance. We see a person here, and I imagine that they're coming out of a dark place, and they have pierced the veil, and it has brought about new realizations for them, you know, that they, they finally let hope trickle through to their psyche. Look at that art. I can almost feel like the stardust just whooshing by me as I step through. Really nice. So next we'll do the Two of Lotuses here. Get you a good view of that one. Lovely, lovely. I almost immediately noticed that this was going to be a mirror to the Two of Chalices. It's just really obvious to me when I saw it. It stands for unity, partnership, and connection. We see the two lovers in the boat there, and I just really felt that connection between them. Their closeness and the way their hands are out towards and around each other. And, you know, we just have this beautiful scene going on around them, and I just feel like it really nailed it with this one. Last but not least, we have The Wanderer. Okay, let me get you a good look at that one. This is from the fifth suit of cards in Cosmovision. So there's a fifth suit that's going to be a mirror for the court cards in the regular tarot deck. Um, the Wanderer's mirror is the Page of Wands. Free spirit, new ideas, and inspiration. The person we see here is supposed to be dancing, but I even thought of this card showing the movement and the potential to go in any direction. And for me, it even shows the repercussions of those movements, like the way their inspirations will take them could turn out any way. As gentle as a swish of wind, or as strong as fire itself. So this deck is $40. There's a current, there's a Kickstarter running right now for it. So I have dropped the link in the description below. Definitely check it out if you're interested in buying it. Um, I know there's a bunch of other things being sold on the Kickstarter as well. You can, if you missed out before, you can also get the Light Visions or the Prisma Visions deck with that, which can also be purchased on the author's website. Um, I'll go ahead and put that link as well so you can check it out. But there's a couple of other little goodies like a tarot cloth. It's reversible. And also there's this big hardcover book. I'm really looking forward to definitely getting this. It is a full description book for the Prisma Visions tarot and the Cosma Visions Oracle deck full color pictures. It's a, you know, a bigger size book and it's going to have really nice edging on there. That was a, a, um, a stretch goal that we met. So I'm really excited to see how that's going to turn out. Um, I love a, a great book with um, beautiful art inside. So just, it's like a bonus that it's going to have the descriptions and the reverse meanings, I believe as well inside. So that's kind of neat. Also, there is, it's going to come, an, or an option, I should say, an add-on will be a wrap. So I'm going to show you the wrap that that I got for the Prisma Visions deck. So this is what it looks like. My deck is inside there with the book. Um, let me see if you can see that it has a you know a little eye on there just to show it goes along with it and it just wraps right up. So I'm excited to get this with with for my Cosmo Visions deck as well because this is usually the more of the way I carry it around. I like that it's thin but quality. So I don't feel like I'm carrying this bulky thing around, but it's also like a really nice quality and um, another benefit bonus I guess I could say is that when you lay it out you can always have your cards and do a spread on here like directly on it so that's kind of neat as well the one that's going to be for Cosmovisions I believe it's turquoise colored so that'll be cool the um there was a Lenormand deck that this author also did and it was green and it's just as good so I'm expecting it to be like basically the same as that I'm really excited for it well I mean, outside of that, you have to check out the Kickstarter to see what else is going on there. There's new things happening all the time. It's met the goal. It's going to happen. And, you know, this deck is coming alive. Get it. Be one of the first ones to get it. Get a first edition. So that's really neat. And that's it for this deck review. I would love what you have to say about it. If you have any comments about it, if you've used this, this deck, I should say, the Prisma Visions deck and, you know, you're interested in seeing more about how it's going to blend you know let's talk about it in the comments below i would love to hear what you guys are going to be doing with these two decks if you have them or how you plan to use them on its own this deck is just really nice so i think you're going to really enjoy it and that's it for today so until next time